Facebook, Lord, those who are here on YouTube, we pray in the name of Jesus that you would bless them, everyone, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God bless these old people that are listening for a word. For they need a word from you today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. So we thank you right now, and we praise you right now, and we honor you right now. And we give you all the glory right now, because all the glory and all the honor, it all belongs to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I thank you right now, and I praise you right now for all things. Most of all, for salvation through your blood, the blood that you shed on Calvary. The blood that set to dying men and women free. We thank you this morning for your blood. For had it not been for your blood, our souls would be lost. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you did not come down off the cross. But you looked beyond my faults. And you saw I was in need of a Savior. My God, my God. I come to tell you thank you. Thank you for giving me a chance. Praise God. Bless be to God. I thank you right now. You've done for me, but you've done more for me when you set me free than anyone else could do. Bless be to God. I was on my way to the devil's hell, but oh, be to God, you stretched out your hand. You me mercy. Thank you, God. And you rescued me. I praise you right now. I thank you right now for being so good, for being so kind. How you bless my family. Ah, God, I thank you right now, my granny. Ah, God, how you blessed us, Lord. You kept us, Lord, God, safe and secure for all hurt, harm, and danger. Ah, yeah, I bless you, Lord. I bless your name in the name of Jesus. We give God the glory and we give God the honor because all the glory and all the honor, it all belongs to him. In Jesus' name, all the God's people shout, amen. 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 We praise God. We honor God today. Amen. We thank God for this hour. We're trying to get amen. All our um, amen uh, lines working here. Amen. Our phone lines and amen. I'm pretty sure we're okay on Facebook. But we're having no problem with the uh, conference line. But nevertheless, we'll get that all straightened out for you. Amen, those of you who are trying to hear us uh, online. We thank God again for being here. Amen. We thank God for those who thought not robbery to come out and try and help us. Amen. To do this. Amen. Uh, for online and this Facebook uh, live for you that your hearts may be encouraged. Amen. We thank you for your God's plan of salvation. Amen. That he included us. Praise yes. God. Amen. Didn't have to, but he did. Amen. We are so grateful. We are so thankful to him. Amen. Amen. For all his benefits. Praise, Praise God. God. Amen. We give him all glory and we give him all honor because the glory and the honor, it all belongs to him and, and to him alone do it belong. Praise God. Amen. And we thank him right now for his blood. Amen. Amen. Let's be the God that he shed for us. We thank him and we honor him in the name of Jesus. And we ask you right now, and praise God, amen, that you will get your Bibles, as our dear sister Hans about to come before us, to read, amen, our scripture lesson for today. Praise be to God, amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Let's receive, amen. The daughter with a hearty, amen. God bless you. Let us stand for the reading of the word. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Amen. We're going to be reading from the book of Matthew, chapter 1. Starting at the 18th verse. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on the wise, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being just man, and not willing to make her a public example, 
was minded to put away privately. But while she thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary, thy wife, but that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Then Joseph began raised from sleep, and did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife, and knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and called his name Jesus. And the word of God is already blessed. Praise God. We thank God. For the reading of his word, amen. And I'll be hearing, God bless you, my daughter. God bless all of you, amen. Those of you who was trying to get us on the conference now, we're back on, praise the Lord, amen. And just, amen, mute your phones if you're coming on, amen. We thank God for this day, because this is the day that the Lord has made, is that right? Amen. 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 This is the day. This is a day, this is a day that the Lord has made.
Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. Amen. We praise his holy name. God bless all the mothers. Yes, yes, Praise yes. Praise be to God. Praise God. I said, God bless all the mothers. Amen. 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 Without a mother, there would be no son. Amen. And without a son, there would be no savior. Amen. Good God. Hallelujah. I'm glad. I'm glad for the cross. Hallelujah. Where Jesus for Jesus died. For had it not been for the cross, my soul, my soul would still be lost. Aren't you glad? I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. So glad. So glad that God. I want to have a little church. Come on, make me. He made me in his image. He made me. Come on, help me. He made me. Just like him. No, no, no. Excuse me, young man.
for God will never forsake you. Uh, turn with me, if you can, to the book of St. Luke. chapter and the 43rd verse and it reads on this wise and a woman having an issue of blood 12 years which had spent all her living upon physicians neither could be healed of any came behind him and touched the border of his garment and immediately her issue of blood staunched and Jesus said who touched me when all denied Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude throng thee and press thee, and sayest thou, who touched me? And Jesus said, Somebody hath touched me, for I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling and falling unto him before him. She declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. And he said unto her, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith have made thee whole. Go in peace. And I want to use a subject for uh, just for a little while, if I was to take one, it would be don't don't give up. You are right on the brink of your miracle. Don't give up. Don't be discouraged. Don't be deceived. Don't give in. Don't throw in the towel. Don't let the enemy blind you and make you feel like that you are not going to get anywhere because you're you're right on the brink of your miracle. When you read this text, this is uh, one of the parables that Jesus, uh, one of the miracles that Jesus performed when he was uh, doing his ministry, his three years of ministry. And prior to the woman touching him, he was on his way to see Jarius' daughter who was sick and who had died. And he was going to go and, and, and give aid there and he was taking the disciples with him but everyone had found out who he was everyone had come to the recollection and knowledge that he is the son of man he, he's, he's some prophet he's some miracle worker they knew that if they could just get in his presence that whatever was wrong would be made right we have that advantage today that if you could just get in the presence of God and you don't have to find him uh, somewhere in the earth all you got to do is begin to open up your mouth and magnify God. Begin to get in praise is your weapon. When you begin to stop complaining and stop looking at the situation with your natural eye and look at it with your spiritual eye, you would be able to see how good God is. You would be able to see what kind of miracle he's working. We don't always know. We don't know what way he's going to come because his thoughts are not our thoughts and his ways are not our ways. But one thing you can be confident is that when you call him, he will come. Uh, one thing that you do know is that if you knock, the Bible says if you knock, the door would be open. Uh, if you ask that you would receive uh, as long as you ask in his name. Uh, so if this woman, she had the faith, she, she didn't know what was going to happen. All she knew is that she just needed to get into the presence of God. Uh, so what she decided to do was she decided to press through the multitude. Uh, and if you read, if you if you study the scripture or study the text, you would know that she was bent up. Uh, she was she was cast out because any woman that had an issue of blood for more than seven days, they was cast out of the city. Uh, they were put out. They were put somewhere so that they, they were known as as untouchable. So this woman was cast out of the city. She was known as untouchable. She went through all of these uh, uh, traumatic things. She spent all her money on doctors, spent all her money trying to find a cure. Uh, and that's a lot of things that we're doing in this day and in this season. Uh, we're trying to find cures and we're trying to find uh, ways to, to make a way out of no way uh, when the way has already been made. Uh, Jesus Christ is the way. Jesus Christ uh, is the cure. If you don't believe in nothing else, just in the day and time that we're living in right now, uh, there is no cure to this to this disease. There is no cure to a coronavirus right now. They're testing and they're trying this and that. But I tell you one thing, if you try Jesus, he Amen. will make everything all right. Yes. If you believe in Jesus, he'll make everything all right. Yes. A lot of people are panicking and they're losing their minds and losing their assets because they don't have their eye on Jesus. 
Jesus. If you remember in the scriptures, Jesus was out on the water and he told Peter to come. Peter started walking on the water, but when Peter took his eye off of Jesus, that's when he began to sink. I'm here to tell you tonight, if you take your eyes and place them on the master, never looking to the left, looking to the right, but lock eye with Jesus and you will be all right. So this woman was pressing through the crowd. She, she said, I know that what society has said, I know that they don't want me to get be in the midst. I know that I'm not supposed to be out here with the clean folk, but I need something from the Lord. I need something from Jesus. And when you get desperate, and that's what we need to get, we need to get to a point where we are desperate for him. We are desperate for the things of him. We are desperate to be in his presence. We are desperate to be in his glory. We are desperate to be with him because when you get desperate to be with him, things will start to change. Your outlook will change. Your appearance will change. Why? Because desperation will make you do things that you won't normally do. Desperation will make you say things that you won't normally say. Desperation will make you go places that you won't normally go. But if you could just get desperate for Jesus, it won't lead you nowhere wrong, but it'll lead you right every single time. So she got desperate, and she didn't care what society had said and what they, uh, what the rules were that she was not supposed to be there. But she said, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to go into town today, and I'm going to make sure that I'm going to reach the master. So she went, and she pressed through the crowd, and I could imagine because she was in pain as well. She could, I could imagine her with a weak voice. Twelve years is a long time to bleed. And she was, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. And sometimes, I'm sure people were like, no ma'am, you, you got to stay here. You, you can't get by. It's not your turn. But see, that's the thing about desperation. It doesn't matter how many setbacks you get. You keep getting up. You keep moving forward. That's the problem with the body of Christ. We're too finicky. We're too, we're too emotional. We're too, oh, they hurt my feelings. They did this to me. I don't like her attitude. I don't like that the way that was said to me. But we're not here for attitudes. We're not here for each other. We're here to serve Christ. We're here to give the best that we can get while we're here on earth. So that when he cracks the sky, that we will be able to ascend with him and make it. Hallelujah. So this lady, this woman that was with the issue of blood, she began to say, excuse me. She pressed through the crowd and I'm not going to be before you long. So I need all my musicians to get in place. Hallelujah. Glory to God. She pressed through the crowd and she began to just, just plead with people to let her through. And when she got through, she didn't wave her hand and say, it's me. I need you to pray for me. I need you to put the all on me. No, what she did was she just simply with her faith believed that if I could just touch a piece of his garment, not touch him, not touch anything else. All I want to do is just touch the hem of his garment. I believe that I'll be made whole. And what does the scripture say? The scripture says, and verse 44, he, she came behind him and touched the border of his garment. And immediately her, her issue of blood was stopped. Immediately. Do you know what immediate is? God's about to give us some immediate blessings. Some immediate things are about to happen in your life. If you don't know what immediate is, if you don't know what it is to be desperate, then you can't appreciate immediate. Because when you get desperate and God blesses you with immediate, then you can get excited about the next level. So immediately she was healed. And then Jesus said, wait a minute, I just felt something. Something just went out of me. He said, who touched me? And the Bible says that the disciples began to look at him like he was crazy. Jesus, don't you know that all these people are around you? And I'm paraphrasing for a minute. And he said, yeah, I know that people are around me, but I felt virtue. What is virtue? Virtue is power. Holy Ghost power. Believe in power. Go out of my body. So I need to know who just got healed, who just got delivered, who just got set free, who was that power for that I came tonight and I came to tell you that power is your portion today. Don't you give up. Don't you give up. Don't you give up. There's a power in all the way. The power in all the way. Power has arrived. Power has arrived. 
She's fresh. She's fresh. You gotta stay in the press. But when I press in time. My, 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 my. What a word. Hallelujah. Can you say what a word? What a word. What a word. Thank you, Jesus. From the Lord.
in the name of Jesus, the God of Israel. We're releasing anointing right now over these mics, over these phone waves. Praise God that will enter into that place where they are and that they'll get a new lease on life and they'll begin to press their way. Praise God. We're praying for you. We're praying for you. Brother Mark Williams and Sister Beverly, we're praying for you. There's many more out there. I know. I come to thee. Hallelujah. Stay right there, musician. Stay right there. You just I need thee. Oh. Come on. You, he's right down there. He's right down there. He's right down there. He said, I don't want to know what you've done. All I want to know is what you're going to do from this day on. Uh, he has forgiven you when you acknowledge your faults and you confess them. He's faithful and just to forgive and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me try this. I don't know. I feel something in my spirit. Can you see? 
that God would take him down. That praise God that she would be able to run. Yes. Praise God and not be worried to walk and not be in the spirit of Almighty God. Praise be to God. As I pray for her myself right now, I want you to pray with me. I feel bad to pray for her. Praise God. Amen. I'm going to pray for her. Pray for her right now. Let me, let, me, let me just say this to the glory of God. And then you can take us off, daughter. And I want this to get out there. Praise God. Praise God. This daughter knows that God works miracles. She has no doubt. Praise God. She must have been seven or eight years old. Y'all hear me talk about that man's ears? He couldn't hear and he couldn't count. She was there. She saw the miracle. Uh, Y'all see? She saw the miracle. She knows that. And, and let me say this. I, I, I'm, I'm going to not talk about what happened in the past. But let me say this. We've been asking God for a miracle. Is that right? And God said to me, stop asking me for a miracle and ask me for miracles. Mm, amen. Oh, my God. Y'all I lost somebody there. He says, you, you don't just want a miracle. You want miracles. In everything you set your hands to do, you want miracles to perform. Good God. Amen. I said, yes, Lord. No more miracle. Miracles. Amen. When I go in the store. Praise God. Instead of coming out with one bag, I'm coming out with four bags. Amen. Oh, yeah. Praise Amen. God. That's a promise. Bless you. you be in the struggle of your hands so long. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God. He, he told me to tell you, you'll never be the same again when I pray. Thank when you, I pray Lord. for you, you'll never be the same again. Hallelujah. You'll never be the same again. How y'all see? See, there was no anointing on her life, praise God. I'm going to tell you people that are anointed out there, you got to guard your anointing because the enemy desires to steal your anointing. Amen. I want you to know that. Amen. He'll send everything along to steal your anointing. Somebody need to say something. Amen. Praise God. But the devil is a liar. Amen. Jesus is a Messiah. Hallelujah. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for my granddaughter. I praise you for her. And I remember, Lord God, years and years ago, your promise. And your promise is made in me. You cannot lie. And for your glory, for your glory, for your glory, I pray me to God that that anointing will flow so strongly it will destroy the very roots of God of everything Jesus. that the enemy tries to bring up in her life. I killed the root this morning. Can't tell my heart. I don't just cut down the tree. I killed the root this morning. Cut the heart. The very root. The very root. Die. As the foot pushed down from the root, they saw no sign, but it died right there. The God of my name. I in the house. Shut up, I got seen a house. Somebody need to give God some praise. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah, my sweet child. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes,
that continue to do what you're doing. Amen. Keep us, amen, in prayer. And please, sir, uh, please, ma'am, don't forget your support for the ministry. Praise God. We said, you, if you can't get out, amen, you, we have a, a gift line that you can look up the Willing Rock and you can see you can, amen, give your donation if you so desire. Especially you that are tithers. Praise the Lord. Don't rob God. Hallelujah. There's a killer out there. Before we go off there, someone turn over there to Mal Malachi 358 real quick for me. I, I want to I want to drop something out there in, in, in the hearts of the people that say they know the Lord. I want you to read right down there. Amen. Praise him when a man robbed God. He said, yes, you robbed me in tithes and offerings. Praise God. Amen. Amen. There's a lot more there, but I want you. You should read where that always says, Bring ye all your tithes and off to the storehouse. Read for me. Get a light so they can hear you. That there may be meat in my house. Uh huh. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. And prove me now here with the Lord of hosts. Who talking? The Lord said that, y'all. Uh, Spelman didn't say that. That was written before I got here. Continue. If I will not open you the windows of heaven uh -huh. and pour you out a blessing that you shall not have room enough to receive it. I know all of y'all so familiar with that, but here's something that y'all been not really looking at real closely. Read on, daughter. And I will rebuke the devourer. Oh, oh, what what you going to do? What? I will rebuke the devourer. Who's a devourer? That's Satan himself. God said, I will rebuke the devourer. Huh? For your sake. For your sake. Read. And he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. And he ain't gonna be messing with your children. Hello. That's what now. Read. Y'all need to get in your Bible and read that. Praise God. After I do what I'm supposed to do, he said, Don't worry about rebuking the devil. I got him. That's right. I'm gonna tell you, I will rebuke him for your sake. I Praise God. Pray. This is a word of God. Hello, we here. We praise God. Amen. We thank God. Thank God for all my daughters. Amen. Music brothers. Amen. A couple of brothers. Well, three, three, four brothers. Amen. I got one. Amen. He, he out for the count, but that's all right. Praise God. Amen. We thank God. We thank God. And yeah, bless the Lord. All right. You can take us off, daughter.